Howdy folks, how you going? So you've picked up your new tello, like me, or maybe you haven't, maybe you want to. You've been out for your fly and you think this is really cool, which I did, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, as you'll see from my previous couple of videos. Then you do a little bit of soaring up to the sky and you get to about 10 meters and then it stops. You're thinking, oh, I want to go higher than 10 meters. 10 meters isn't very high, I mean, it's 10 meters. What's that in feet? I don't know, 20, 20, 30 feet, somewhere, I don't know. So, how the heck can we make this thing go higher than 10 meters? Is it even possible to do that? Well, the answer is yes. With a little help of a little uh, funky app, which I'm just gonna head down to my favorite spot and show you. So, recommend when you're playing with this thing find yourself a nice open area so like I said when you're learning to fly this thing give yourself a big open area especially if you want to use all the little funky features it's got um, otherwise you're crashing or something I'll leave the prop guards on obviously still while I'm getting the hang of it um, yeah so let's see if we can go higher than 10 meters and while we're doing so, we'll just see how long this battery actually lasts for. It's fully charged, so we're going to see what's what. Okay, let's get cracking. So, as promised, I've forgotten my um, launch pad, so the is just sitting on the ground there, which is an ideal. There's a launch pad. So, what we're going to test out today is we're going to fix this 10 meter range problem height range problem um, I'll have it on the screen there so I won't get you to try and look what I'm doing on my mobile device so it's basically an app called a TALS this is for Android uh, I believe there's a different one for Apple and um, so what you need to do first is to pair your tello so I'll just turn them on <clears throat> as I said this will be on the screens for you guys to look at so Wi-Fi pair it first However, don't open up the Tello app. So we open up the Tells app, and what you can actually do, you can set it to. Just bear with me. Hopefully, I'll get rid of this in the editing. <laughs> okay. So, like I said. You pair it uh, without opening the Tello app, so just Wi-Fi pair it. And with this app, you can actually set it to whatever height you wish, ranging from uh, one meter <laughs> to 30 meters, which is about 100 feet. Not too sure how we're going to go there. So at the moment, it's set to 10 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it safe first because I haven't done this yet. I'm going to set it to five meters. Send value to Tello and it should give you up a confirm succeed message so then you can bail out of that open up your tello app wait for the tello app to fire up okay we're connected full batteries while i'm doing this today i'm going to have a bit of a stopwatch going so we can see how much um how long we uh, we get a flight time with this battery it's fully charged just charged it as i mentioned Okay, so let's take off and let's see a little bit of wind coming. These don't like the wind, but what the hell? Okay, so I've set it to five meters, so all being well, slide to take off. All being well, Ooh, where are you going? Crazy cat. Okay, it's got a bit of lean on it to compensate for the wind. It's not doing a bad job, it's a little bit breezy here. Okay, let's go straight up. Uh, okay, it says vision positioning may fail in high wind or something like that. Okay, it's alright. We've got plenty of grass around us, so... Okay, we're at 1.6 metres. 1.9. 2. 3 metres. Let's see if we can fly forward a bit here. Oh yeah, it is struggling in this wind. Okay, 3.94 meters and 5 meters now. Okay, 
I'm hitting go higher, go higher, go higher, but it's not. Okay, let's bring it back down. Well, by all accounts, I would say that was a huge success. So let's land it in our hand. And landing confirmed. Okay. Oh, that was pretty cool. So I'm going to bail out of this app now. Press again to exit the app. <clears throat> so I'm going to open the towels app again and I'm going to set. <clears throat> Looks like we need to reconfigure the Wi Fi. It's not connected. We're not quite changing app. So we are now connected. So, okay. A bit finicky. Okay, so now we're connected. Tello Alt Limit Setter. So I'm going to go up to, I think 20 meters is a pretty decent height for this little drone. And you can have this on metric or you can have it on an imperial, whatever you want. I'm going to do metric 20 meters, which is what, I don't know, it's about 80, 80 feet, something like that. It's a bit breezy here, so this could be a bit dodgy. Okay, send it to, do not rec, <laughs> don't recommend over 20 meters. Do you wish to set? Well, hell yeah, succeeded. Okay, we're done. Okay, let's reconnect. Actually, we should just be able to zip straight back on again. And we are connected. Alright guys, here we go. We are going for the big two zero meters. <laughs> Where anything could happen. And forward we come. I think we'll just head out to the middle of the over a little bit. Because if the wind takes this, I don't really want it to take it far and damage it. It's reasonably new. Hopefully that stopwatch is going so we can play with our battery uh, longevity meter. Okay. Okay, well, nothing left to do, but um, yeah. Let's see if we can go up to 20 meters and see what happens. Uh, bear in mind, if we lose Wi-Fi, what does this drone do, everyone? Um, you don't know? I don't know either. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh, hell. Okay. So we're going up. I'm going to stop it there. We're at 15 meters. I've still got good video. A little bit shaky. My Wi-Fi reception's down. It's giving me a couple of warnings. I'm going to push it to 20, 17, 18, 19. Weak Wi-Fi at 19.9 meters. Have a look at that. Hey, that's terrific. Now I think I might do a quick uh, spin around feature while we're here. Uh, bounce mode, no. 360. Okay. High wind velocity. Cannot do it. Cannot enter this mode. What do you mean I win? No, it's not. Right, let's bring it down. Let's bring it down a couple of meters. Oh, we're hitting 20 meters there, guys. That's pretty cool. Okay, okay, 17 meters. Vision and positioning may fail in high winds. Oh, damn you, it's not windy. Looking for a 360 up there. Let's try again. Flight modes. 360. Ah, yes, okay. We've got the 360 going, guys. And it self records at 360, which is pretty cool. A little bit of a jitter there. <laughs> but we're at 15 meters doing a 360 turnaround. Epic. Strong wireless interference. Okay, let's bring it down. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Well, there you go, guys. Um, definitely a success, that app. You can set it to whatever the hell you want. <laughs> As you saw, 20 meters for where I am here. And the Wi-Fi interference here should be pretty low. Um, 20 meters is certainly high enough. You can, you can take it to 30, I, don't think, I don't think we'll go that high, but what the hell. Okay, let's do a bit of a range test here. Let's bring it back here.
Okay. Let's see how far we can go. Have a quick look at this drone. It's a little bit windy here, so it's starting to spin around a bit. This is a super steady unit. Really impressive. Super deep steady. A little bit of battery power left. Okay, over we go. Let's see how we can go uh, with our distance test. And what happens when we lose range? That's all I'm going to do here today. So, I've almost reached the other end of the soccer pitch. Actually, not having just over halfway. I'm getting strong wireless interference. It could be my phone. I'm just running a Samsung Note version 4 here. Okay, so it's. Oh, no, there we go. No. It's completely stopped. Okay. I think I'll just record this. So it tells you it's weak, and when it tells you it's weak, the drone actually just stops completely what it's doing, so. Which is good. However, if you're getting yourself into a position where you can't land it, it's just going to hover there, isn't it? But that's cool. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Okay, let's try a couple of these funky features, shall we? Let's get some flipping going here. No, I don't want that. A little bit of wind again. Okay. We've done the 360. Bounce mode. We have a look at this bounce mode. This is pretty cool. Oh, it doesn't like doing anything when it's windy. Okay, bounce mode, folks. Uh, when would you use bounce mode? Oh, I've got no idea. Pretty funny, though. Just keeps bouncing. That's terrific. I shall bail out of that. And let's try the circle. Caught a short video whilst flying in a circle. Okay, so here we are flying in a circle. That's pretty cool. Again, not too sure when you'd use this, but I'm sure you'll find a handy somewhere. Okay, we'll bail out of that. I think we get the idea. Okay, let's try some flips, shall we? Some 8D flips. Failed. Battery level is lower than 50%, so yeah, 50% are up, folks. <laughs> um, yeah, no flipping. Okay. Let's do the uh, up and away feature here, shall we? So with your up and away, record a short video whilst flying upwards and backwards you, when using up and away. Okay. And for this one, you need to be you need to be in the air. So here's our up and away. Up and away. It's saying I have strong wireless interference, but I don't think I've got any wireless interference. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And that's it. I've up and away already. Okay. Let's see if we can up on away again. Try to take off, shall we? Pretty low on batteries now. Okay, throw and go. Okay, oh, there's a hover in place. <laughs> throw the aircraft and it'll hover in place. Okay. I 
the thing to do this we need to land so let's do a hand landing come on here we come why are you not hand landing that was too high up hand land confirm oh, okay you've got to put your hand underneath it okay let's do this um Chuck and go. Throw and go. You ready? Tap on the above and chuck it. Yeah. That's what it does, that's what it does. Okay. Just land it and see if our tap to land. See if our initial height on takeoff has altered at all. So we're almost out of power I believe, slide to take off and we're going to sit on hopefully a bit over a metre. Yeah, that's cool. Quickly before I run out of power, I'm just going to go into fast mode. Okay, I'll record this and see how many metres a second we can travel in fast mode. Whoa, crikey, four, five, Man, that's pretty cool. And here we go, coming back, back at you. As I said, I'm controlling this with a uh, with a remote would be much easier than doing it by hand. Oh, I think we're just about out of power. Landing critically low battery. Come back. Okay, well the stopwatch will, um, will be the guide, see how long this battery's uh, lasted for. I'm going to run it completely dead. I'm saying landing, but it's not. Okay. We'll run it completely flat. Here we go. Okay. There we go, folks. Now it's flat. Okay, so. That's our video footage. We'll go charge this battery up and fly around with that speed setting a bit more. Um, I'm going uh, to collect uh, my remote tomorrow now because the store has sold out of them. They're pretty popular. But that's going to enable me to fly this thing a whole lot better um, that's a quick look at a couple of features guys um, one thing I do recommend that you do if you do buy one of these tellos is to get a couple more batteries because that's quite warm too um, as you can see it only lasted probably about eight minutes I think so a couple of these would be handy so I'm going to grab a couple more I'll put a link in the description where I get them from and for how much and don't charge these when they're warm you have to charge them when they're cold or room temperature but I hope you got a bit from this guys just a few features the tallow um, and this slightly windy overcast day so it's pretty cool very impressed with it very very impressed with the unit okay any questions yeah drop us a line thumbs up subscribe for more and thanks for watching Take it easy, have a great day, bye for now.